Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter here, DarrenSlaughter.com, and today I'm going to talk about doing cheap and easy research if you want to launch a new product or service in your contracting business. Okay, let's say you're a roofer, and for years you've been doing regular traditional asphalt shingles, and you've been doing you know cedar shaker sinks. Wow, cedar shaker You know what I mean? Um, but you have an idea, maybe you want to get into metal roofs replacing or installing metal roofs and you don't want to spend a lot of money on advertising you don't want to do a lot of marketing you don't want to obviously bring in a new product line and bring in inventory um, until you have a good idea um, if there's going to be a market for it so here's a nice cheap easy way spend a couple hundred bucks and you get some market research and some potential prospects at the same time you can beta test it with either your own website by putting a specific page up on your site or the best the better play would be to get a domain name specifically talking about metal roofs somehow some way in the URL keep it away from your main site you put up a one pager that's it one page it simply states something to the effect of um, ABC Roofing Company is considering is considering bringing on metal roofs. If you are interested in having a metal roof installed or replaced, insert your name, email address, and we'll make sure to keep you up to date when we launch this product or service. Now, you take that, you spend $100 on pay-per-click advertising, $200 on pay-per-click advertising, and you drive prospects to that specific landing page. Those people that fill out the page or fill out the information on that page, you obviously let them, You what you're using that information for is to gauge the level of interest. If you have a hundred clicks on that page and only three people submit a request or ask to be put on the uh, mailing list to be updated when you do bring on metal roofs, um, then you know maybe you don't have a winner, maybe you do, maybe you just need to tweak it a little bit more. Um, I always have a rule of 30. You need at least 30 clicks before you can really start to track anything. So if you're going to spend 100 bucks, gauge that against how much a click is going to cost. You want to get between 30 and 50 clicks to get a good idea of what the marketplace um, is saying. And that's a very small microcosm of the marketplace, but it's an indicator, at least to you, whether or not they have an interest in that. So whether it's three people, out of you know a hundred or it's 25 people out of a hundred or 50 people out of a hundred whoever puts their name on that list when you do roll it out you've already got a, a built-in prospect customer base ready to go they they've told you hey listen we're interested let us know when you're ready and we'll be happy to be customers now you don't use it to kind of be you know a spammy marketer and say all right you know this is how we're going to generate leads no you, you wait, you do exactly what you say, you, you know, a week later, two weeks later, you say, once you come to the determination that, hey, this is a good product offering for you to be in, then you contact them and you say, hey, listen, we're rolling it out, we'd like to come out, and we'd like to talk to you about it. Um, but what you're doing is you're, you're building in a book of business, but you're also gauging what the market is place wants. So you're going to make sure you're going to put a comment box in there and let them tell you what they want. It's a product line that you're not necessarily that familiar with. So let the market who knows what they want tell you what they want. And all you have to do is provide that service or product to them and you're off to the races. So I hope that helps. Have a good day.